CNN, Maxim Chemerkovsky shared on his verified Instagram account Thursday a video of himself in his homeland after it had been invaded by Russian forces. The Dancing with the Stars professional dancer posted from Kyiv, Ukraine. There's always another way. War is never an answer. Chemerkovsky wrote in the caption. PSI will never be the same, he continued. This is stressful and I am getting old feelings back, like I've done this before. This does feel like the way it was. When and why we left in the 90s. Chemerkovsky told his followers that he's not a social media guy at times of some kind of personal difficulty and this is definitely not the time where I would normally would be posting anything on social media. Everyone was hoping that the finality of this situation would be averted, he said as sirens from emergency vehicles could be heard. That there's not going to be this kind of aggression. Dot his kind of aggressive measure. Chemerkovsky, whose younger brother, Valentin, is also a professional dancer, immigrated from the Ukraine to the United States in the 1990s. He also shared a video showing what appeared to be a family fleeing with their suitcases and another video of himself getting emotional about the situation in his nativeland. He said he wanted to return to the US and realized that he has a way to because of his American passport. What I am realizing is that my friends whose kids are here, whose moms, dads are here and elderly people who are here, they can't just escape, Chemerovsky said emotionally. A representative for Chemerkovsky told CNN he is in the country working on the reality competition series World of Dance UA. He first began performing with the hit ABC dance competition series during season 2 in 2005. He won the competition in 2014 also served as a guest judge the following year during season 21. Chemerovsky married fellow DWTS pro, Peta Murgatroyd in 2017. The two are the parents of a five-year-old son, Shai. Murgatroyd and the couple's son are not with him in Ukraine, according to Chemerovsky's representative. CNN's Sandra Gonzalez contributed to this report.